and welcome everybody here in Twitch chats and everybody on YouTube for another standard shakeup deck. We're going to play some Demir Affinity Forge. This is a deck that I really like to play and none of the cards in the deck are on the banned list here. Um, if you're just kind of if you just started watching this video and didn't watch any of the other previous standard shakeup videos, basically what this is, this is a, a fun format on Arena where it's just best of one standard um, with all of these other cards. My border is like off right now. I don't know why they, why that's off. Um, all of these uh, cards are banned, like some of the most popular cards in standard. Okay, that's better. And so it makes the format a little more fun. You know, like you, we get to play some jankier stuff. That's what we're kind of doing today. And we're going to play some Demir Affinity Forge. All right, this deck. Let's get to it. If you haven't seen me play this deck, um, I'm surprised because I've played this kind of deck a whole lot. Um, yeah, the, uh, yeah, Matthew, this, this kind of deck could be pretty sweet in Historic. I mean, I've, I've played it, uh, I think, just once in Historic. But Mindstone in this deck, ooh, man, Mindstone really turns this this deck into something even better we're going with a little bit more sweepers in the main deck going with a third soot and a cry because of this best of one format and of course we had to change our sideboard up karn means that we only need artifacts over here so we got all artifacts to go grab with karn manifold key corridor monitor can do some untapping of steel overseer or mystic forge corridor monitor can also play some defense against the aggro decks um but yeah, this deck's all about uh, what we're trying to do is we're trying to set up, get Mystic Forge in play, which we got three in the main, and we got another one in the sideboard to grab with Karn. So we're trying to get Mystic Forge in play so that therefore we can cast the top card of our library if it's an artifact or a colorless non-land card. And then get Ugin in play so all of our colorless spells cost two less. So then all of these cards that are on top of our library we can just cast for free with Overseer. Stone Coil we can just play for two for free. Golden Egg, Guild Globe, all these cost two mana. We can play them all for free. And then also get Tezzeret in play and have Tezzeret's plus two ability deal X damage to each opponent, and then we gain X life, which where X is the number of artifacts we control. Get that in play, be able to do a lot of damage because we have a ton of artifacts in play. Uh, plus, it gives our creatures and planeswalkers affinity for artifacts so we can cast them for free also. So it's all about casting free spells. Hopefully we get to do that. It's a fun deck to play. Um, it could get ran over, but we got Stone Coil playing some defense for us. Yeah, I've, I've tried playing Saheeli a lot in the deck, and I've just kind of ended up getting rid of Saheeli. It just wasn't... Like, Saheeli's awesome whenever you have... you know, Whenever you're playing, like, some, some free artifacts and everything. I don't know. It was, it was just kind of slow. You know, like, I... Basically, that was kind of the problem. It was too slow. Um, huh. I guess, speaking of too slow, I guess I took too too long to decide if I was going to play Stone Coral Serpent or not. I did I did determine I was not going to play the Stone Coral Serpent there. I'm not I'm not just even counting that as a game. Um, I was not going to play the Stone Coral Serpent. I was going to wait till the next turn and be able to play it as a 3-3 or wait to see if we had Ritual of Soot coming up. I think that we had... I think we had a pretty good chance of winning that game, though. Tomik. All right, well, hopefully turn four Ritual of Soot is fast enough. Um, I'm going to play this Stone Coral Serpent on one to save a lot of life as well.
So Stone Coral Serpent saved us two life. Last turn. You can't you can't tap this. And then three life this turn. So it saved us five life. Certainly be an important five life. I need to draw two more lands. We need to get to the Sukin. And Tezzeret. Yeah, we gotta watch out for Mobilized District. Um. Yay, land. Good card to draw. All right, come on, land. Land. We did it. All right, Hugin. Golden Egg Free. Heed my advice. Oh man, that Blast Zone could be nice. Well, I guess not really. It's that free. I got Stone Coil over here. We'll recast. We can cast that for two. For free. <laughs> this deck is crazy. Uh, our next turn is going to be pretty crazy, too. Just just going to let you know. Ugh. Ouch. Got to save life. All right, y'all ready for a crazy turn? I don't know if y'all are ready for a crazy turn yet. All right, so Karn is free because of Tezzeret. So I have one, two, three, four, five artifacts in play. Two, three, four, five. Okay, so we have five artifacts in play. Let's go grab. Meteor Golem. Meteor Golem's free, because we have five artifacts, plus it costs two less because of Ugin. So we'll blow that up. That's pretty good. And we will now replay the Stone Coil Serpent. There'll be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We'll just play it as a 10 10 for one mana. Why does they have to pay two? Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, still nine, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Should be a nine. Yeah. Okay, so it's a nine, nine for one mana. Sorry, not a ten. And we haven't done anything with Ugin yet, so I guess we tick up. And we'll drain him for a lot. Zap. For seven. <clears throat> I guess it's going to be It was going to be a 10-10 whenever I'd activate the Steel Overseer So 
So that turn, we cast... For seven mana, we had seven lands. For seven mana, we cast uh, six mana Tezzeret, four mana Karn, seven mana um, Meteor Golem, and nine mana <laughs> Stone Coil Serpent. That doesn't count the turn before that. With our six lands, we played six mana Ugin, plus uh, two two mana creatures and a two mana Guild Globe. Uh, Mulda, I don't know how to how to enable them. Nobody's told me how to do that yet. I think there was somebody that was going to tell me how to enable the BTTV emotes. I think it was Storm. I think Storm was going to tell me how to do that. Psychotog. All right, cool. You're gonna tell me how to do that, QQ? Cool. <clears throat> Let's draw those lands. That's a good thing about Mystic Forge is, you know, we get to look at the top card of our library. If it's not a land, I can exile it. And like Mystic Forge can help me hit land drops, but obviously I need one more before the forge. And there's one. Um, Oh, you told me to contact you on Discord? Oh. I guess I didn't do that. Hey, Karn. Do I want to go grab Spyglass for Royal Scions, or do I just want to tick up on Guild Globe and attack Scions for five? The options. We'll kind of do... We'll go grab Spyglass. Of mystery. Looks like a pretty cool Temer deck that the opponent's playing. Hmm. That's a lot of problem problematic stuff. Draw land. Tilt. You will not threaten this world. Maybe I should have just done that first. I forgot that about midnight clock in our sideboard. Maybe I should have just done that. Like, you know. Minus grab midnight clock and then spyglass. 
Yeah, that was probably like my best line. Now oh, I'm just getting another spy glass. Hey, Telstar. Happy New Year. Yeah, the, the blue-red landstill deck, that's referring to the card standstill. Um, you play the card standstill out, and then you win with your lands. You win with creature lands. Afterward. Yay, land. Oh, that hurts. That hurts because I need to exile it, but it's an Ugin, and I don't want to exile an Ugin. So that hurts. But I have to exile it. But I don't want to. See, you see my conundrum. I have to, but I don't want to. Alternatively, I could cast Ritual of Soot this turn. Hmm. This is just not good for me. Another good card that I have to exile. You, you gotta be kidding me. There's no lands. I'm in a lot of trouble here. I'm in a lot of trouble. Really wish I didn't play the Serpent as a 3-3. Really wish I would have been able to have it be a larger creature, you know, like a 4-4. Four, four. With the Arcbow at my side, I can't lose it. I summon you! Oh, right. Sarkin's going to make the Royal Scions attack me also, won't it? Yeah, we in a lot of trouble.
I need to hit a bunch of Stone Cold Serpents here. And by a bunch, I mean really just two. Need to hit two Stone Cold Serpents. Off the top. Yeah, now I can't hit five now. Hmm. I feel like I could have done better that game. Oh no. Just that my Stone Cold Serpent being a 3-3 three, three just hurt me so much. With all those 4-4 four, four flyers. If I just don't play that. Or if I tick up the Karn instead of minus the very first time and attack the Royal Zions for five, maybe I could have... I don't know. I don't think the naming Sarkin would have helped, honestly. With Spyglass. Like, the Vivian was definitely going to kill us if I named Sarkin. I need to not have one named the, the Royal Scions, I guess. Or, I don't know. That was just a tough game. I will defend my allies. Judith. I agree. I do not feel pain. Braggart. What do I got? Five mana. Bunch of nothing. Okay, I want that card. Allow me to introduce you to a friend of mine. So I'm probably just gonna draw the Ugin next turn, play Golos to grab another land, probably just grab another beacon. I guess I probably need a black land. The, yeah, these were just in the store before. You just buy them, the, buy them as a package. The card styles for the basics. Yeah, stream's going to start at 3 o'clock tomorrow. 3 o'clock Eastern. That's the, the normal stream start time. Hmm.
This will not deter me. Uh, they... <laughs> Oops. They messed that up. They they wanted to do... Um... True goodness can never be corrupted. So I can grab a Watery Grave... Or I grab a Fable Passage to get another land out of the deck to thin it more. And grab the Fable Passage. <clears throat> they wanted to do the three to Karn and then the one to the Mystic Forge. Now we get another Mystic Forge again. Yeah, don't use Google search on trivia. Don't make me discard. I guess we would discard Ritual of Set. If they do. Okay, that's not bad. Because now... Actually, we'll, we'll save this Fable Passage then. So I can shuffle. Now they can't kill Ugin right now. They have a lot of haste stuff and, you know, we've seen shock. All sorts of stuff. Uh-oh. That thing can do a lot of damage. Oh, I guess... No, I guess I should not have tapped... The islands were the worst, because of Castle Vantress. I'm going to tap the islands. Um, Alright, back up Mystic Forge. Go those. Go grab... The Mobilize District. No, more Fable Passages. Uh, I like Emery. But we can't cast Emery yet. We don't really need another Mystic Forge. Shuffle. Serbert keeps Ugin from dying. I'll keep stop. Tezzeret! That's the card I need. I guess it's better to shuffle first before scrying. Oh no! That kills my Ugin! 
Oh, I am not smart. <laughs> Uh, I don't even get a land. Right, because I couldn't I couldn't scry anyway because because Ugin, but I need to take Ugin up. <laughs> My turn to say oops. Could have been an 8 8. Don't you see? You have already lost. All right, sweet. Tazeret was correct. Don't you see? You have already lost. The claw. That's just like one of the best animations there. So good. a fun deck to play even if you don't don't always win you know it's not the best deck but just the stuff that it gets to do is pretty awesome oh awesome subi sack you're playing the mono black aggro deck rake it up fast awesome yeah that was kendis that was kendis's deck So I can either play the Stone Coral Serpent as a 2-2 right here, or I can play Steel Overseer first, and then the next turn I play Stone Coral Serpent and can put a counter on both of them immediately. I think I just want to play the Stone Coral Serpent right away, honestly. Even though that means I have to wait longer for counters. That was the worst case scenario, though. That was definitely the worst case scenario of me playing the serpent. Yeah, I mean, that was just... That's just pretty rough. Well, I'm going to trade instead of waiting forever and, like, not even trading. But we're going to get... A black source out of the deck and just draw towards Ritual of Set now. Oh. 
Alright, great hand. Great hand. Two and two. Yeah, I remember that card in, in Gate Crash Limited. I don't know what the name of it is, though. Temple of Triumph, huh? Boo. Karn is not an artifact. You do not get to cast Karn off of Emery. Feather. I need a ritual of ritual of soot stat. It's blast zone do for me. So Ugin can kill Feather, and we don't have to worry about God's Willing. The problem, obviously, is still staying alive. Vindicator. Recklessness and I shall be gone, interloper. If, the, if we don't die this turn, I like our chances. I think. Maybe I still don't like our chances. I don't know. This Vindicator is going to be rough. Seems like we're not dead dead. I have the mana to crack golden egg and cast Tazerat next turn. 
Okay, that's not me dying yet. It's me like dying like next turn. It's probably not worth it to block. So close. Truth lies beyond. I need that card. So basically, I can either. Gr I can either crack a golden egg to gain three life or play the Golos. Golos is probably going to do more. Oh, it costs zero? It, it does cost zero? Oh, because it costs two less because of Ugin. Right. Sweet. I get to do both. I get to do both. All right. So that's good. Just concede. Right, because the Ugin make makes the Golos cost two less. It's only cost three. And then the Tezzeret gives it affinity, and I have four artifacts, so I get to cast it for free. We're blocking with everything. Need to stay alive. Yeah, Tezzy's plus two animation is awesome. Let's move that up. The record thing just kind of gets moved some, like as I like whenever I update and everything like that. But I do like the the record thing right underneath the the timer. Oh, I guess. Oh, that's right. Because normally in best of three, there's the timer there, and so that's why it's that's why it's down there. Eh. Oh well, I'll leave it right there for now. All right, so they are attacking, but just with the Sky Knight Vanguard to kill Ugin. All right, replay this thing. Draw a card. Play that for free. No blocks. Uh, so that's seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen.
Take up. The claw. Exactly, lethal. Exact lethal with the claw. Yeah, well, let's do it. Playing it like an almost all colorless deck is pretty sweet. Yeah, nothing better than Xaxes. Yeah, you know, we just have two Emery, two Tezzeret, and then four Sweepers. Everything else colorless. Pretty sweet. <laughs> Tezzeret Laser makes you think of Dr. Evil from Austin Powers. Basic planes. We got white aggro. Azoria skies. This time we're going to play the steel overseer on turn two, play the serpent on three, so that we can immediately pump the serpent. All right, not attacking into the serpent. Okay, looks like Stone Coral Serpent holding down the fort. My opponent does not have a very good hand. And we're four and two. I don't think I want to just play a 1 1 Serpent. I want it at least to be a 2 2. Zoria Sky is looking popular. Emery can replay the Serpent though if we, if we do trade the Serpent away. Wow, no attacks. I want that ritual of soot. Yeah, they just have the 8-8. <clears throat> that would make sense. Well, I 
This has been a, a hand that I can't that I can't really beat. I mean, that's just a hand I can't beat. <laughs> they don't always have that start, because we saw the game before, they didn't do anything at all, and so they didn't have that start. Um, usually I just play seven games, but those last two, like, we just didn't do anything those last two games. Like, we win one, lose one. Those are just weren't weren't enjoyable. They didn't do anything. I want to play another one. Yeah, they do have that start. Yeah, they have the Lord and the seven seven and her alley of wings. I mean we're not we're not being all that stuff. Uh, should probably be mulliganing. to get blue to, so I can cast Emery. But I don't have any black in case we draw one of our sweepers. <laughs> cool, Benny Mon. Yeah, glad you're glad you're enjoying the trivia. I know, I, I look over and I'm, I'm jealous that y'all are playing the trivia, you know, so much. And I'm like, wish I could be answering some of these. Does that? I can cast Ritual of Soot because of the Guild Globe. It can help me fix my mana. It looks like that's what I'm doing this turn. Uh, I need a meteor golem that thing. Right, now emory cost two darn hey kramer welcome back yeah this great hand is pretty good
Gullus is pretty awesome. Have to get meteor golem though. So I can play meteor golem next turn, and so I don't want to like delay my ability to play meteor golem longer than I have to. I'm a little surprised they're not killing Karn. They're not trading their Paradise Druid for Karn. My Serpent was dying. Uh. Vilas? Vilas? Well, I guess I have to kill that thing. That's not, it doesn't trample, does it? It doesn't trample. Huh. We can just pay a black, pay two life. A creature gets minus one, minus one. I mean, they still get to draw six cards. Yeah, this game's over. Resolve. What are we doing? I just activate this thing so it stops asking me. <laughs> Stop asking me. All right, so so you have the all right. So thumbnails aren't quite done yet. I don't think. All right, where are they? Uh, I know you're working on them. This is going to be tough to win this. So we can certainly assume... Assume they're gonna kill me. This is a fun game, though. This is more fun than the uh, three, six, fourteen. If I play Meteor Golem, I just die. I'll let them do their thing, though.
Ooh, Necrotic Wound? That's cool. Yeah, this is a cool deck. That that Villas was awesome. But yeah, these Deathless Knights are cool. Playing a bunch of Harpooners in this format is awesome. And so is Crowl Forgers. Yeah, cool deck. Four and four. Well, we can't can't end five hundred. We got to go one way or the other. But this is a a big game then. So now I don't want to have a losing record. All right, we have turn two cry available because of these things. Hey, Snakespur. Oh, yeah, definitely having a great new year. Enjoying this new format. No reason to play the Stone Coral Serpent before Cry of the Carnarium. Obviously, hope turn three Cry of the Carnarium is not too slow. <laughs> Is possible also. Cool, you went five one with with the Affinity Forge deck. Awesome. Eagle is not a card I wanted to see, so we only got we only got two two for one. There it would have been nice if they just played you know some more creatures that died to cry out the Canarium. Hey, Gatsby! Wow, that fifty fifty huge cheer! That's amazing. Thank you, Gatsby. Also, kind of skin that resub. Gatsby said, Happy New Year, Todd. Hope you have an awesome 2020. Well, it's a lot a lot better now. Thank you so much. And Kenneth with the sub got us to storm count 13. There you go, Blast Burn. Awesome. Compete the shrug. All right, got to get some defense out here. We all we want to do is draw land. I mean, I guess I trade the rally of wings. Oh, outflank. Well, I'd, I'd rather trade Rally of Wings. <laughs> A limited player detected. Black. Hmm. 
I wish I could play that Ugin. Sorry, Ugin. Gotta shuffle you away. Cool. A brand new Ugin. That's cool. We can play that. Um, Blast Zone could be useful. Let's draw it. Ritual of Soot would definitely be useful. Let's draw that. We don't really need Fable Passage. And Bird! Also with the, the new year, cheer in 2020. Thank you, Bert. Man, Gatsby and Bert, you two are amazing. Thank you so much. Um, I kind of want to just tick up, actually, now that I have the Ritual of Set. Am I in risk of dying? I guess I kind of am in risk of dying. I have a backup Ugin. Let's not let's not be too greedy. Let's just kill this. My plans do not include you. Oh, I guess I guess maybe I should kill the guard mage because guard mage doesn't die to set. But I have backup Ugins. All right, time to have a turn. Y'all ready for some turn? Y'all ready for a good turn? All right, we're gonna go play Karn. I need Karn to get an artifact that I can play for free. Uh, which I guess that's, okay, so I guess we have to shuffle away the, the golden egg. That's fine. Hmm. I didn't want to shuffle away the golden egg, but I guess we're going to have to. Oh, I guess I could just decline. Wait a minute. That was even free. Because that cost five. Ah, I just messed everything up. I'm still just going to decline. I guess I didn't really mess everything up. We just go grab this. Okay. Life's still good. We get a 5-5 five, five Stone Coil Serpent. Now we can play Ugin. And now Ugin can play this. Um, I don't really want Ritual of Sid. Get out of here. Island? I don't really want Island either. Steel Overseer. I want that. Secrets manifest before you. Okay. Still a pretty good turn. Still a pretty good turn. We played Tazeret, Karn, Ugin, Golos, 5-5 five, five Stone Coil Serpent, and a Steel Overseer that turn. That's a pretty good turn. <laughs> well, they don't... They can't kill Tezzeret right now, because I have the two Stone Coil Serpents for blockers. So that was pretty awesome. Yeah, Golos is an artifact creature that ramps you with, you know, ramps you up to these six drops. And then plus, it's pretty easy to activate. We have guild globes, like one guild globe, and you just, and you can activate Golos with one guild globe. Or, you know, two golden eggs. 
Like I can activate, I can just activate this Golos next turn. But then, yeah, also ramp us because we ha we have these six mana planeswalkers, and there's a lot of time it, it can be free if you have Tezzeret. Can make Golos cost zero, and then yeah, get an extra beacon to gain some more life. Yeah, that game was over. That was a fun game. <clears throat> All right, so there's Demir Affinity Forge. Very fun deck to play. Very fun deck to play. Is it the best? No. Uh, like those, uh, some early decks can run you over. You know, like we had twice, like the Flyers that just had um, just awesome, awesome hands just ran us over. But besides, you know, besides those two, we we're five two against the other decks. Um, yeah, this is a fun one to play. And if you you will want to play free spells. Nothing better than this. Stone Coral Serpent is like the glue that holds this together for sure. Um, yeah, there we go. That's what I got. All right, that's our next um, standard shakeup deck. Maybe one of my favorites to play. I really like playing Tezzeret and Ugin, you know, playing all that stuff off the top of your library for free. You get to do some cool stuff. As we saw like that very last turn that we played. For, you know, we had we played our seventh land you know, like we played Ugin, and then Ugin played a couple of uh, spells for free. You know, played like a Golden Egg, a Guild Globe, and uh, and everything. And they kill the Ugin, and then we get to play. Then the next turn, we played Tezzeret. With Tezzeret, made our Karn free, so we got to play Karn. And then <clears throat> Karn grabbed Golos. We had four artifacts in play. We had seven lands, so Golos only cost one mana because we had the four artifacts in place. Then we got to play Golos, which made it so we had five artifacts in play, and then Tezzeret returned a Stone Coil Serpent back to our hand, so we got to play Stone Coil Serpent for five for free, um, and which then made we... Because the Golos was our fifth artifact, so then we had six artifacts, so then the Ugin was free, so then we got to play Ugin, and then <laughs> because we had Mystic Forge, Ugin then played a Golden Egg off the top of the library for free, and yeah, so it's just pretty crazy. And then we exiled a few more lands and, and dug deeper and everything. So pretty, pretty awesome stuff going on. That's just a lot of fun. That's fun magic right there. All right. So those of y'all uh, watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there. Hope you enjoyed the deck as much as I do. And, you know, leave those comments. Hope you do both of those. But Happy New Year. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you for the next video.